Today I have more seals for noise reduction and I have a decibel reader so let's find out what the numbers are before and after. So since road noise has been an issue for some of the owners in the community, it's been a topic that I've seen people discuss and so I figured why not try out another noise reduction product for our Tesla Model 3. Since I'm pretty happy with the roof seal that I had from AY Customs, I figured why not go with their product once again. This is the door seals and it's all pre-cut, it's all strapped up and nicely packed. I haven't opened it yet so and also I picked up one of this decibel reader from Amazon. Since I already have the roof seal installed on my way to work yesterday, I did a couple minutes recording on the freeway driving around 75 up to 80 miles per hour. And I set it to keep track of the lowest decibel reading and to see what the lowest number I get with the roof seals installed. And then on my way home from work, I removed the roof seals from the car and driving home, I did another couple minutes of uh, recording and once again, I'm trying to get the lowest decibel reading. So now I have two numbers to compare with. So um, today I'm gonna install this and then I after installing it tomorrow i'll be driving to work doing the same thing again get the numbers and see what the lowest number i can get with just the door seals because i haven't put back the the roof seals just yet and then finally on my way home tomorrow i will install the roof seal along with the door seals installed and after that, I will have four total results to compare with. The first one would be bone stock with no noise reduction product. And then the second one would be with the roof seals. And then the third one would be with the door seals by itself. And finally, fourth result with, with both the roof and the door seals and see what the lowest number we can get. So first I have to clean the inside of the door and the door jam. So um, let me go get my wife to start cleaning and then maybe I can get a decibel reading of her response as well. Just kidding. So before I start cleaning, let me just uh, cut this open so I can see the instruction. So here's the instruction. Um, straightforward. So there's five steps total. It's all with photos and text instruction. Wipe the door clean with alcohol and where the door seals will be applied. And then all the highlighted area is where the, the seal is gonna go on. So this is the package. There is the front seal and then the rear door seal. They're all strapped up, pretty nice. And there's more pieces for the front. A uh, total of six pieces and then there is two seals for each side of the door so let's start cleaning and get these installed so one quick tip I wasn't able to find out from the instruction and I spent a little time to figure out myself was that when you stick the seal onto the door the adhesive side goes on the inside of uh, wherever you stick it, the, the side without the, the double-sided tape will be facing on the outside. So in this case, um, the adhesive goes on the inside of the door and then the, the hanging portion will be facing out. After I finished the front portion of the front door, uh, which was the hardest piece because you have to maneuver over all the hinges and stuff, this is probably the second easiest. Again, um, the adhesive side face inside and then overhang uh, will be facing the outside. With the door, I'm just going to start from the top. Now I have these uh, longer strap of the P, P seal. None of them go on the frame. You don't get the side. All you need is the, the bottom piece because the, the front door is gonna close onto the, the piece that went onto the front portion of the rear door. So the adhesive will be facing inside. The overhang will be facing the outside. 
and one important thing was to avoid this water drainage channel so we're gonna go right just underneath it Okay, so this concludes the insulation uh, on one side, the other side will be just the same. And then let's wait until tomorrow and I will do the decibel reading test and find out the before and after. Um, I'm on the freeway right now, normal 75, 7, 70 miles per hour speed. I'm going to turn off my air vent. off my music so there's no more interior noise so I'm gonna turn on the decibel reader so I guess I'm gonna go for the minimum the, the lowest possible recorded so I'm gonna not stop talking right now So as you can see, the result is pretty clear. Without any of the noise reduction seal, it's 56.1 decibel. That is basically the factory noise level. And with the roof seal, it's 54.1 decibel. With the door seals, it's 54.0 decibel. And with both of the door and roof seals, it brought it down to 52.6 decibel. That is nearly 4 decibel less than the factory noise level. Now I did my best to do the testing. It actually took me over a week to record because the road condition, I do drive the same route every day but sometimes uh, it's hard to get the, the number reading to be consistent. So um, it took me a while so hopefully the result is convincing to you. And with that, if you find this video helpful, give me a thumbs up leave me a comment uh, especially if you have a similar product let, let me and other people know how you feel I've heard from other people who have these seals um, they said it's a really noticeable difference so yeah leave me a comment let me know and if you haven't subscribed to my channel consider subscribing because I do have a couple of cool projects coming up uh, including possibly a callover installation uh, I did just install a carbon fiber steering wheel on a Model 3 and then I will also be installing a automatic open and close power trunk lift gate and that's all I got for you this time I'll see you guys next time.